So the first thing that I want to talk about is organic metrics, tracking your groups, your group posts, and your Facebook profile posts. So let's have a look at that document. So this is the document for um, tracking your group metrics, your posts, your profile, that sort of thing. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to grab your group. You're going to type in the title here of whatever group that you're tracking. And so you'll grab the, um, the link and the number of members that it has. I'm going to type in the full number here. You will have a look, click on your profile and see when is the last time you posted in that group. And then you go ahead and go through and count your posts. That's gonna go on forever. So I'll just say that I posted those 20. And then you wanna look at your friend request. The quickest way to look at your friend requests from this group is to go to members and then look at how many friends that you have. So I've got 256 from that group. I've got 256 from that group. And then direct messages. I will literally go through um, all of these, open them up and uh, see who I have spoken with. And I take all the friends in there. So I know these guys, uh, you know, they're just a good friend outside of Facebook. I'll just take them all. And I go through and check all the messages to see who I've messaged. I count them up and I will put on here how many direct messages that I've had. I even go through when I'm counting the messages and count the number of strategy sessions that I have had and the number of sales that I've had from that group. My status in that group is here. So I'll just grab the drop down if I get kicked out or if it's pending or um, if I'm actively participating, like if I'm an active member of the group. The research on the group, when I'm talking about research, I'm talking about posts like this. What are you struggling with right now? And getting people to respond. So I will copy the link to this post and put it in here as struggles. And so any of the, this way I can jump back to any of the posts that I've added to research kind of what the audience contains in that group. And I can just jump through all those research posts here. The group topic, I don't try to create anything special. I'll come over here and pull information out of their description in order to add to the group topic. Okay, so network and be part of this community. Share ideas. Ask questions. So this is what I would post in here for group topic. Okay, so that way I can pull that back up and have a look at it. Does it require post approval? This means, can you post in the group and um, is an administrator or moderator required to approve your post? If it's moderated and all the posts go through, get filtered, then I say moderated. If I can post in it without getting stopped uh, by a moderator, I call it open. If it's restricted, that means only the group admin is the one posting in the group. Does it allow live video? Sometimes I will even add in here paid. Like, yes, they do, but I have to pay. Does it allow call to actions? Yes, they do, but I have to pay. And then the date I joined on. So you just click here. So August 2nd, 2019. Okay, pretty simple. So track all your groups this way, sort them by how many sales that you're getting, see which ones are on top. You can even break this, create categories and say, well, these are the ones I'm actively posting in. Everything below that I am actively uh, commenting in and then a bunch of other dead posts that you're not participating in at the bottom. Um, for group posts, the next tab, 
This one here is to title your post. So how you would do that. Let me grab this one. It's getting way too complicated in 2020. I post the title in. I grab the link. And I say it's five and one. It active meaning that it was posted in the group. Sometimes it gets pending, sometimes it gets declined. I track all those. And then what group is it in? So click funnels. So because I added my groups here, they'll show as a drop down option on this page. So click funnels, what type of post? This was a value post. And when was it published? How many likes did it get? Uh, five and one. Five, one, zero. Probably nothing off of that. And you don't have to track it right away. You can come back. Uh, this metrics spreadsheet here can be very time consuming. So you're, you're going to stop yourself and be like, oh, why do I need this? Why do I need to be posting in, on this document and filling it out? Uh, at least do it every weekend. And then as you start getting bigger, bigger, have a virtual assistant handle that for you with all the metrics. Uh, eventually, I'll be um, having, actually, I have a team right now that is writing some software to track all this information for you. So uh, we'll be getting to that eventually. But uh, this is important. Having the metrics so that you can see the lay of the land, see what messaging is um, resonating with your audience and see what, um, what posts have done well in which groups because each group is going to be different. And so different posts are going to do different things in, in different groups. One thing you don't want to do is take the same post and go list it in five different groups because you're going to have friends that share all the same groups as you do. And those posts are going to show across all those groups. You don't want to do that. Um, it's going to show to the same friend the same post 10 times and they're going to think you're a spammer. That's uh, going to look desperate. So one post, one group. Do it as per your schedule. Yes, you can revive posts. Um, so after you get going, it's pretty easy to bring them back, the ones that were super effective, and do them again. Maybe try a different group because every group has a different audience. Even if it looks and has the exact same name, it's going to have a different audience based upon how it's moderated and that sort of thing. So go ahead and uh, track this because this is going to allow you – these are those jokes that you're practicing. As you get better and you see what headlines and what topics and what information people resonate with better, then you'll get better at the kind of content that you need to create to get attention because you do want engagement on these posts. That's why we come back and we comment on them uh, frequently so that we can boost the engagement again and again. But also you want to be able to track like which ones actually produce value for you. The last thing you want to be doing is posting a lot of content and um, not getting any response or reaction. And so you're doing a lot of busy work. The purpose of this system is for you to do the items that are effective, not to waste your time. You can waste a lot of time on social media. So don't spend your time going and reading everybody else's posts. Don't just start flicking through your feed. Be very specific about why you're going to Facebook. Otherwise, you'll get trapped in it. You do that by clicking directly on your links. So I'll have all my links here and I'll just be able to click and open a couple of them, go comment on my posts, go open a couple more, comment on them. And that's how I jump through all my posts and reactivate and re-engage them. And then profile posts. You want to do the same thing on your profile. Know what audience your profile is starting to look like and feel like and what is resonating with your audience because that's going to differ from the groups. All right, so that's the organic metrics doc.